All right. Well, good morning. It is Friday, May 5th. Uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. I know you're seeing this the next day, but <laughs> I've got as about as, as much as I, I can do uh, on my own. I've, I've got, uh, yeah, stuff to make a burrito. I'm, I'm like all about fast and easy. So yeah, that's what I'll be having, but I will be enjoying that today. Cause that is one of my favorite things to eat. That's like, yeah, that's like in the definite, like top three. So, uh, so yeah, I am going to be happy today having that. Uh, so I just finished my live sale. It is about, what time is it? About 10 20 in the morning. Um, Got um, got everything kind of organized into what sold, what didn't sell. I brought 24 items to the sale and 21 of them sold. I just had three items that didn't sell. So thank you all so much. Phenomenal sale. I appreciate you guys so much coming, hanging out in the chat. I appreciate your purchases. Yeah, you know, you keep us, you keep me busy. Um, you keep the resellers busy. We really appreciate it. Uh, but I'm going to go over the items. Got I've got my number one helper right here. Yep, he's helping. Uh, but I'm going to go over the items. Well, let's talk about the three that didn't sell. So I have this fabric right here. It is a, a Daisy Kingdom fabric going to see if I could tell what year. Oh, there it is. 1997. It's called Little Sluggers. I had three yards of this available. So all three yards are still available. I have 86 corks. Yep, you heard that right. Corks in here. 86 of them. Those are still available. And then I have this beautiful gold tone and clear rhinestone kind of like a tennis bracelet style and that didn't sell so those three items are still available now what did sell well this awesome daisy kingdom tartan uh, that was five yards this is a 36 this is a one yard panel and it, it says it is a like a bumper panel, but you can use it for anything. I loved all the cheery rainbows and everything. Oh, I loved that one. And then I had two of these. These are one yard uh, panels, Waverly, Glorious, uh, Sonia, and uh, those both sold. Oh yeah, all this stuff, uh, this awesome stuff sold. Thank you guys again. This heart-shaped trinket box. These are two different metal uh, votive, no, tea light candle holders. Uh, the plush ladybug from Russ. The little gardeners. Oh, they are so cute. The brass candle holder. This is a left-handed pitcher. What makes it a left-handed pitcher? Yeah, because this is my left hand and see you can pour it easily. So a <laughs> fun piece. Um, and then I also had these, this pair of plastic bowls with feet um, that sold the uh, uh, gold tone twisted rope bracelet, this necklace, uh, this beautiful, are you going to focus? There you go. Hard to tell, but these are like a kind of maroon garnet type color um, here now you can get a better idea of that color my ring light on my laptop always turn teal colors like a sapphire blue but here you can see that this is a little more of a teal color uh, then there was let's see this beautiful ring I loved that green this ring sold Let's see, you focus, focus, yeah, it's thinking about it. Uh, this pretty clear one, and then this beautiful one. Loved that color also. That was a great color. There. Okay, so if I move it over here, 
on that side, then it wants to focus. Let me try that over here. There we go. All right. See, I'm, I'm learning how to use this thing. Uh, then this kind of like peas in a pod, green pendant, the dragonfly, and then this beautiful blue one. Oh, I love that one. Uh, yeah, so those are all of the items that... Thank you so much to everybody for your purchases and just for coming and hanging out in the chat. I appreciate it so much. Uh, next up, I am going to clear off the table, get all this stuff organized, take what's sold upstairs, and um, put away the items that didn't sell. Then, uh, oh, I've got a little postage to do, so I'll take you over and show you the stack. As soon as I get that done, I'll show you the stack for postage. So that will be my next project. All right, just a quick update on the mail that is going out today. It is almost one o'clock, so the mail carrier will be here at any moment. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, eight packages going out today. So thank you everyone so much for your payments. Um, still keeping an eye on my inbox because um, I do have a couple of invoices that haven't yet been paid. And if they do pay before the mail carrier gets here, then yep, I'll dash upstairs and uh, get that taken care of. Oh, there's Gracie. Hi, Gracie. <laughs> Hello, Gracie. Well, there we go. All right. Uh, so yeah, so if there's an update and another payment comes in, I will let you know. Otherwise, I am right now working on, um, uh, what am I working on? Oh, pulling the items for tonight's sale. So I'll show you as soon as I get that um, all finished up. All right, well, it is about two o'clock. I have uh, selected my items for the sale tonight. So that part is done. Um, oh, I should, I should. Here, we'll give you a quick little preview. Oops, this way, there we go. So I'm bringing some pictures. Uh, this is kind of like the final time I'm gonna be bringing Ooh, that one's hard to see. I'm going to be bringing uh, some of these items to a sale. And uh, then, yeah, they will be listed in my eBay store, which, hey, that is exactly why I have eBay as another alternative. And then I've got, I've got a photo, a little book, some Raggedy Ann coloring book. This one, I, I was very surprised. This one is based off of a true story. So that was kind of cool. And then I have Horizons. I've got four issues of Horizons. So I'm going to do those as a complete set. So yep, that uh, 15 items for tonight. So that is a little sneak peek at what I'm going to be bringing for tonight. Now, this around so I don't blind everybody in the light. And let's talk about my shopping trip to uh, Value Village Savers. Um, I'm going to spin the camera around again. I'm going to show off. I've got another book underneath here. I've got all these goodies and over here and over here and all of this and another book and two pictures. Now remember I packed all this stuff up into four bags so that I could carry them out of the store in one trip. One trip. That was a workout. <laughs> Getting this all packed and carrying it out to the car. 
Um, cause yeah, you gotta do it all in one trip. So I am going to put the camera down. I'm going to set it up and we're going to take a look at these items a little closer up. All right. So let's take a closer look at everything. So I purchased 37 items. Um, yeah, that was a lot more than I was going to buy. Sometimes you just don't know what you're going to find. And uh, yeah, I, I thought I found some pretty cool things. Uh, so 36 items. I spent oh, uh, $218 before tax. <sighs> yeah, that was more than I was going to spend also. But, uh, but one of the items I'm keeping... So <laughs> it's really going to be 36 items. Which item am I keeping? Oh, can I reach it? Yep, this one. This one right here for Quisp Cereal. This was absolutely my favorite cereal when I was growing up. What is it? It's Captain Crunch. It's the same recipe as Captain Crunch. It's just in these little flying saucer shapes. Because, you know, he's an alien. Uh, it's actually a little easier to eat on the mouth. It doesn't chew your mouth up as much as Captain Crunch does. So, uh, this I don't know if somebody made this or, or what. I don't know how this came about. But, that is really cool. And yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Um, Alright, so yeah. I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about this art first. These are... They're kind of heavy. I'll admit it. They are heavy, heavy, heavy wood. Um, but, oh my gosh, the needlepoint pictures in here. <gasps> they are so good. They are amazing. So the two, the two, um, you know, where these people got these frames, who did this, I don't know. I was looking to see they... They're nailed in here. I don't know if they're professionally done or what. If they've just been in here that long that they're that they're nailed shut. I have no idea. But this is the first one, and this frame is glorious. So love that. Here is the second one. Let me see. Okay, balance. Let me see. Ooh. Ugh. Um, okay, this one is professionally done, and it says, yep, it goes this way. But look at that, all needlepoint. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Yep, that is glass, and this frame is wood, and yeah, this one is professionally done, but oh my gosh. I love those and uh, was not going to leave those behind. Oh, now I'm sitting back too far. Hang on. <laughs> Got to scoot my chair in a little further. <laughs> but I had to sit a little further back because of those. All right. I picked up this Coca-Cola Girls book. Um, it is all pictures of all of the beautiful women of Coca-Cola ads. Oh my gosh. So great. Yeah. Had to get that. Uh, now where am I going to put it? I think I can put it right there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start over here. This is really cool. 500 piece 3d puzzle. I don't know. I don't think the 3D effect is coming through on, oh, maybe a little bit coming through on the camera, but uh, yeah, still in its original packaging. It is a Milton Bradley puzzle. thought that was cool. There's a whole series of them, which I think is really neat. Okay. Now where else is hard to reach? This one. I might. I'm getting. I'm getting quite a bit of Halloween stuff. I might have to do a separate um, Halloween uh, sale. But this one, um, yeah, peanuts. 
it's not old. It's 2021, so it's not super old, but I love this Day of the Dog. <laughs> so you get a cup and a coffee mug in there. Too cute. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got some glass. So this is a candle holder, tea light candle holder. It goes right there. Needs a little cleaning, but there is the moon. And there's the star. So, yep, little spot right there for the tea light. And, yeah, they were separate. <laughs> this, ooh, so cool. Yep, this has a great glow to it. As does this one. And then I picked this beauty up. Talk about a fancy butter dish. Yeah, there's a few little flea bites, but it's too good. Uh, this little salt and pepper shaker, I can't believe was not damaged somehow. A little bit of red. Yep, you're gonna get a little bit of red paint loss, but oh. They are so cool. Now, clown alert. Probably should have said that beforehand. Um, I thought these were salt and pepper shakers, but they're not. They are just crazy clown figurines. So go figure. Almost like clowns in pajamas. <laughs> All right. The clowns are gone. Uh, this Barbie, I couldn't quite tell if this was one dress or two dress, a crochet dress. Um, Barbie, Barbie's dress needs, I don't know, needs a little something because yeah, like this, it doesn't quite work unless she's got some undergarments on and Barbie has a really long pedestal to stand on. But I, if I, if I were redoing this, I would just kind of sew this up a little bit here so that it fits her a little better. But um, but yeah, cool. And she's got a little bonnet on. Uh, oh, had to pick up this beautiful plate. Now, I will pick up uh, plates if I think that they are pretty spectacular, but I thought she was beautiful. It is written in Japanese on the back, and then there is a little note down there. So, yeah, got that one. Um, let's see, I'm going to go back here real quick. Betty Boop. And this is a little tin, like a little uh, travel purse. It's got all of her little travels. That was really cute. It's dated 2006 on the bottom. Uh, little planter. Little kitty planter. It does have somewhere, oh, right about here, a little spot of paint loss, but really cute kitty planter. Uh, this one. I haven't taken the tape off yet. Uh, it's wood. And I think this is going to turn into a three-piece tea light candle holder. Carved wood. But I thought that was cool because you could display them stacked up in each other when they're not being used. And then unstack them. And you can see maybe that inner one is also carved. So that was really cool. Um, I picked this up. Because, yeah, uh, like Aaron, I have a lot of just kind of random photos, some um, things I want to group together. And I thought this would be a great way to uh, do a little presentation of them together. A little Lucite. I think this is Lucite. Let me see. Yeah, it has a glow to it. Ooh, going to sneeze. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it is uh, butterflies and flowers in here. Thought that was really neat. 
Uh, yeah, had to pick up the fancy shoe that is a pin cushion. Yeah, couldn't leave that behind. That was pretty awesome. Okay, got some plushes. Yep, this one is all like sea creatures. So we have some narwhals. We've got the little um, uh, beanie boo and another one down here. And this guy is some kind of a, uh, uh, oh gosh, little hanger guy. So pick that up. Um, got these two. This guy is like a little hamster. Oh, he's so cute. And a unicorn. Love the unicorns. Uh, this one I picked up because it is, I think he's a horse. So I think this guy is a horse and a skunk. Oh yeah, had to get that. And I finally was able to pick up a Squishmallow. Yep, I decided I was going to take a chance because it's a girl troll. Yeah. So that was the one I decided to pick up. And I see, I see now what the obsession is. These are pretty fun. <laughs> okay, then I picked up this little um, quilt for a kid's bed or maybe even a crib, but oh, filled with frogs, frogs, dragonflies, mushrooms, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the fabric, happy frogs, lots of happy frogs. So yeah, that one was pretty neat. Had to pick that one up. Uh, let's see, put it right there. Okay, another book, the I Love Lucy scrapbook. Yeah, this has... Um, all the great pictures from I Love Lucy and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, it's put together like a scrapbook. Isn't that cool? Love that. No, I'm not getting it back in there. Here. <laughs> uh, then I picked up this book, the movie musical. And yeah, this has got great pictures out of it. Old Hollywood musicals. Oh yeah, that one is crazy good. Okay, then I've got this tin. It is a folding tray. So yep, the legs pop out. And look at that, gardening kitties. Um, so I picked up this incense burner. So it's the kind, it needs a little cleaning, but you put the cone on top and then it travels down, the little smoke travels down. Um, and then I happen to be over on the wall and there is a an incense burner, a really cute metal one. There's some incense and some cones. So I thought, hey, good timing. I will grab that too. Um, this is a little lot of stickers. Some of them have been used, but I thought that would be really great for the crafters. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So yeah, again, some of these have been used in here, but there's still a lot of ones to pick from. And then, let's see, have I shown everything except the jewelry? I think so. So then I've got um, this really cute necklace. And it is, yep, it's Chico's. Um, got some, ooh, there we go, cloisonne butterfly earrings. And, oh, 
All right, almost, almost made it done before the mail carrier got here, but uh, that was a good interruption. Okay, then I picked up this necklace, which is a two-sided, so you can wear it with the um, black side or with the gold side out. I thought that was really cool. Uh, then I picked up this glass seahorse, very Murano style with all of the glittery in there, but I thought that was a really cool seahorse. He's not marked, at least not that I can see. And then I picked, I was so intrigued by this. Oh, it does say something on the bottom that I didn't see before. Let me see. Trademark WBEIS15. Hmm. Let me see if my camera will focus on that. That is interesting, uh, but it is an hourglass. Yeah, it works. It's a pretty fast one, but isn't that a cool, it's a necklace and that is a pendant on it. But yeah, that's pretty fun. And it's got this little, there, little symbol on it. <coughs> But I thought that was really neat. So, all but the last three. So, yeah, that was all 37 items that I picked up. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think they're pretty cool. Um, so, I will be bringing them to upcoming uh, live sales. So, stay tuned for, um, yeah, for all my sales. And I'll be bringing those. Uh, let's see. Next up is the live sale. Uh, so 7 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be going live with Aaron Proctor and uh, Antiques from Karen Jan. So uh, I hope to see you then. <laughs> and I will be stopping by after the sale and we'll talk about what sold and what didn't sell. All right. Well, last segment of the night it is about 10 uh, after 10 o'clock. Uh, I have wrapped up my sale with Aaron and Jan and a little bit of Sue. Uh, so antiques from Karen Jan filled in. We had a fantastic time. Sue got to pop in from the cruise ship. Uh, so that was great seeing her and Thomas and their friend Barb, who's on the cruise with them. Um, yeah, they look like they are having an excellent time. Next Friday uh, will be the same that um, uh, Barb will uh, have the link and be able to hook up to the sale. And, uh, and Sue will be able to join us. Uh, remotely from the cruise ship again, but Jan, um, Jan will be back next week to sell with us. Uh, so, uh, we bring 15 items to the sale on Friday night. I sold nine of the items <clears throat> and, uh, six of them are still available. So let's start with, um, so let's start with what is still available. So I had this beautiful, this is caribou, um, etched into marble. That is awesome. I had the peppermint land. That is a fun piece of art. I had the, um, not a, I don't think this is a real signature. It just doesn't look when I look at it under a, um, a close-up, it just doesn't look like a real signature, but it is an autograph picture of Rita Hayworth. <clears throat> I have this interesting book. Um, this is about a true story that happened in 1985 about um, a pod of beluga whales that got trapped in the ice and how they were able to free them. That is, it's a really wonderful little story. Uh, the Little Brown Church in Iowa. Uh, fun thing, 
there were three people in the chat that have a connection to this church. It was fantastic finding that out. So, so fun. Um, yeah, so I encourage you guys, uh, go back and look in the chat um, at, um, at the point where I brought this up so you can see everybody's connection to that. That was pretty awesome. And then I have this picture. There's a calendar in the background here dated 1957, uh, what was it, Northern Pacific Railroad. So these ladies might have something to do with that. Um, but those are the six items that did not sell. Uh, so what did sell, and Joe's going to be helping with that, uh, the Raggedy Ann books. Yep, I had two Raggedy Ann books they sold. Um, I have this beautiful tray, gorgeous wooden tray that has a picture from uh, Peterson's Magazine from, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, April 1871. So that is an awesome tray. And oh, the dresses are so good on that. Love it. Uh, coloring book. Yep. This awesome um, coloring book, Nature, great pictures in that. And then I sold these um, Horizon. It's a magazine, but it's a hardbound book. Uh, spring, autumn, and then spring and winter. Those all sold together as one set. Uh, this beautiful cross stitch for uh, the seamstress. Yep, this is matted and ready to be framed. Um, I had some stickers that had some fun ads, old ads on them, and some postcards also that had some old ads. Those sold. Uh, these beautiful uh, needlepoint images. Now, when I got these at an estate sale, they uh, mentioned that they were in a trunk uh, from the 1930s. They just sat in a trunk, um, which is such a shame. They are so beautiful, and I am so glad those are going to their new home. And then these are from uh, Dorothy Francis is the author, and she did these in the 1970s. These two... Um, prints. So those are going. So uh, I am going to wrap up tonight. Yep, I will start filming again tomorrow. But uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.